everybody and welcome back to my channel. I don't think I'm doing so good here. Much better on it the first time. That's the thing. Um, I, as a kid, I wanted to be an um, animator. Couldn't think of the word. Um, and one of many of my problems is that I cannot um, reproduce the same image over and over again, you know, with that slight variation to go, I mean, now you do it, uh, a lot of it's computerized and all of that, but um, I'm not able to... Um, to do it like back to back images with just that slight difference so that you can flip through and, and like they used to back in the day when I wanted to do that it was all done by hand and now you know they got lovely computers to to help uh, you know, this is not going to be perfect that's for sure but whatever it is nothing when I'm not doing it we got perfect mess I'm good at that um again I'm gonna probably fast forward you I'm probably talking and uh stuff to nobody but myself because it's probably not going to be part of the video <laughs> because I'm sure you don't want to just sit here and listen to me ramble on while I'm trying to draw all this Ooh. all right well that's going to be that way because I'm going to ruin my stocking otherwise One of my granddaughters really loves catacorns. That was why we chose the catacorn. And it's just super cute. I don't know if you can, you can't even see what I'm doing. So, I mean, other than me rambling, I mean, what good is this portion of the video? So I'm sure I'm going to cut it out. At least most of it. All right, I don't know if you can see this at all. Maybe a little bit, huh? I hope it'll turn out all right. I should have paused you, and now I'm going to have a whole lot to edit out. All right, so, again, you know, everything's not perfectly straight and all of that, but it is handmade. Um, I wonder if it can go through the washing machine. Probably not. What does it say? <laughs> Horizon Group USA, but it does not tell you. Um, I'm hoping that I can get rid of some of the um, some of the stuff I tried to erase and stuff, but not likely. Oh well. Again, what do we do, right? All right, let's set that little pouch aside that I made. And again, um, this kit came with um, 20 pens, but four of those. So 16 large ones and four of the, okay, so the bigger ones, and then four of these smaller ones, one in silver, one in gold, and the white one for highlighting in the black one. I like having the small one for the in the black uh, for outlining purposes, but I really wish that they would have given you a full-size black one as well because, you know, sometimes you need to actually color something in black and I feel like it'll run out quick. So anyways, I've got to go around all the catacorn. And again, I'm sorry. So probably I will fast forward you here as well. See proof that I kill plants. So, my critique of... I may just get some coffee paint and do it. And as you can see, I'm rocking some uh, of my stuff that I got from Nadine West. 
and I decided to go ahead and keep the little hat, the necklace, the, um, I don't have them in right now, but the, um, why, why is it when the camera turns on, I lose my words, uh, the, uh, rose quartz earrings and, uh, of course the mask, which I've got right here that I wore, but, um, I don't think you're going to get any germs from me through the camera lens. So anyhow, uh, let me take this off. A little update. I did use the, from the, um, hopefully my hair's not sticking up now. Um, from the, um, der, 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 Walmart beauty box, I did try out, like I said, I was going to the, um, oh, that spray shampoo. I can't think it was the unicorn spray shampoo. I did try that out. Worked really nice. Didn't smell as good, um, coming out of the can as it did, you know, when you just smelled it. I didn't smell bad. It just didn't really have that much of a fragrance uh, to me. So anyways, um, you see my necklace and yeah, I got a little, and I'm still like crying over the price tag, but since I had to send back both shirts and I, I really wanted the one shirt, but it was like uh, enough, it was big enough two people could fit in it, um, which is not nothing against it. Cause I used to wear a five X. Um, I, I weighed, um, 319 pounds that we know of and I'm four foot ten so don't think I'm saying anything against anybody's weight because I'm not I'm just saying it was really large for a 2x it was still really really large so anyways um since I had to send back the shirt which I wanted which was almost the price of the necklace which I thought was cute and I don't have like anything um you know stylish and um dressy that kind of goes with everything really necklace wise um so anyhow, I just decided to keep that. So that was just a little bit of an update on that stuff. Um, and I got a surprise. Ta-da! I was able to fix my stocking. I did not. The other one's right here. I promise. I didn't redo it. See? Blank. Still has the stuff on it. I sat out here until like 4 o'clock in the morning <laughs> because... Um, once I get something in my head, I just cannot, I'm like a dog with a bone, just can't let it go. So, um, I just was not going to give up on the stocking. Now, it's not perfect. Of course, you know, it's handmade. So, of course, it's not perfect. Um, but it's a lot better. You will not believe what I ended up doing. I'm almost ashamed to tell you. Okay, so, um, I started out, I found some white paint. And I thought, you know, I'll touch up that spot that had the pink, you know, I thought I will touch that up using that white acrylic paint. I didn't know how well it would work on fabric, but I figured, you know, it's, it's going in the trash, uh, if it doesn't work. So what do I have to lose? Right? So anyways, I tried when I squeezed it out on uh, my palette, I discovered that it was metallic paint, like pearlescent. And I thought, well, that, that won't work. However, I had some boo-boos I was trying to fix on the inside of my catacorn. And I decided, you know what? I'll use the metallic on the inside. Now, you can't really tell much. I mean, if you kind of really look close, it has a very light shimmer. I mean, it's on this fabric, so it doesn't show up really well. But it does have a different color. And I'll bring you closer. Um, it does have a different color from the catacorn to the stocking, which the stocking is just a little bit of a off-white kind of an ecru or eggshell or... Um, vanilla or whatever ish color and um so it just it does set it apart a little bit i also decided remember i said i can't give it any shadow and i was kind of bummed about that um i was able to do that and use that um metallic to um white to sort of blend that in so that it it's there but it's not quite as harsh as it was when i put it first button on I was like oh my gosh yep in the garbage it goes but um I was able to do that and it softened it up a bit uh, I was able to fix the line where I like drew through the tongue accidentally I was able to go and touch up around the writing where um because the ni the nib or point or whatever you want to call it the felt tip on the uh paint pens um for everything but the white and the black and the silver and the gold is a larger point yes i could have flipped the thing around and i forgot that the nibs 
come out and go in the other way and it has more of a chisel point so i could have had a little bit of a um pointier edge but a i forgot about it and b i probably wouldn't have done it anyways because once those nibs are saturated with ink taking them out and turning them around is kind of a mess so i mean by the time i was done i was covered in paint anyways but then i would have had it on me and probably smeared this up even worse and so i i forgot about it and you know so i didn't do it and so anyways it did a lot of like feathering around the letters and and did some wonky things and i accidentally thought i was going to put the little curly cue like this on the s and it was actually the e and i wasn't looking um dyslexia remember anyways uh, that and uh <clears throat> add and just not being able to pay attention regardless um there was that pink thing i and the more i tried to fix it the more the pink mess smeared in this area um excuse me buzz um anyways i i ended up taking other white acrylic paint that wasn't metallic and it being too white against the stocking and i thought i was just going to fix some areas i thought i could match the collar so i mixed in a little yellow and tried to make it you know and it was a close match but it wasn't a perfect match and it changed the it also changed like the um you know the texture the I told you it's a looser weave then uh, it's not a real real tight weave so it like filled in the little holes like up close you can see where the paint was and where it wasn't so i mixed it up several times and i actually painted around every little thing with that every bit of the letters everything i painted the whole entire stocking around everything not on this side just this side and <laughs> where the letters um had feathered and stuff and then where that the paint touched the other paint and it kind of bled i had to go around the letters many times build up several layers especially up here not as bad on the blue a few layers down there but like dozens up here but i actually don't feel so down on myself and depressed whenever i do something and i am a perfectionist and i um things in my past you know uh Somebody saying, can't you ever do anything right when I was a little kid? And it wasn't even something I did wrong. It was somebody else. But I got the blame. Uh, and a teacher, you're not an artist. You know, you don't have any talent. You're a disappointment. All of these things as a child. And I was bullied and all that. All that has like meshed together and melted into one big bundle of low self-esteem low self-confidence and um low self tolerance and like i said uh perfectionism now this isn't perfect no it isn't but i had to finally say it is good enough so and uh i feel good about it yesterday i, I was bummed i was depressed i was wanting to throw it away and never do anything crafty again basically and i know that and i apologize i know that my attitude in my video probably was I haven't looked at it because I've kind of been afraid to and I needed to add this at the end so I'm sure that it really suffered and um it wasn't very pleasant probably to watch it wasn't pl pleasant to feel but anyways um I instead of giving up and throwing it away and, and like I would have years ago especially as a teenager if I couldn't do something 100% uh, I just didn't do it at all. That, that translated into schoolwork and just anything, everything. If I couldn't do it perfectly, I just didn't do it. Because if you don't do it, you didn't fail. You didn't, you failed to do it, but you didn't fail in doing it. So I am getting better and I am trying to give myself, you know, a little bit more credit and also trying to be a little more kind to myself. And I really, if, if you have these issues, if you're a perfectionist, if you are down on yourself about anything and everything, um, cause I am, um, I'm trying to get better. Uh, I do therapy, all of that. I hope that you will try to be kinder to yourself and give yourself just a little bit of a break as well. Cause we're none of us perfect. And, uh, you know, our imperfections sometimes are what, um, are 
the better things about us. It, it makes us unique, makes us stand out. It makes us who we are. Some, you know, the, the good and the bad. And so I'm trying and I apologize for my, I probably, I'll probably edit out some of it, but I will not edit out all of it because I need to own it and take some mechan accountability for, you know, for these things, uh, or I'll never get better if I just, you know, sweep it under the rug, hide from it, uh, stick my head in the sand, uh, and deny I've got a problem. Well, I'll always have a problem, right? Like any other thing we're trying to have, but we're trying to break. All right. So I told you I'd bring this closer and I hope that you can, I mean, I'm bringing it close so you can't see it all at once, but I hope that you can see that while yes, you can probably see some rough spots here and there it, it in my S is tucked behind my cat's ear <laughs> because I didn't, couldn't make it fit and I'd already drawn it on with the pencil. I tried to erase it. It made a big smeary mess. In the end, if I would have known I was going to paint over the whole thing, uh, I would have fixed that. <laughs> so but I didn't know that. And uh, I thought about it and and um, it was making such a mess and taking so many coats to cover that dark burgundy color that, um, yeah, that just wasn't, wasn't going to happen. So anyways, and see how I did some shadowing on there and stuff. Give it catacorn just a little bit more life um there you go and yes it does have that extra pink stripe that's not supposed to be there it should have been the green and then the blue and um uh, but you know what we weren't going to cover that and it wasn't a reason to throw it away it just um but i'm admitting you know i didn't do it quite 100 percent correctly and it's even my logo and i should have been better so yeah see Doing it again. Being judgmental about myself. There you go, guys. Hopefully you can see that. And it's still... I mean, it is a little stiff and scratchy. Not terribly. Um, you know, it's still flexible. Still very usable. And this stocking, um, for such an a inexpensive, uh, dare I say, cheap... And I don't necessarily mean cheaply made. Uh, but, you know, dollar treat... Uh, it's a $3 item. But... Um, it is lined completely on the inside uh, with the fabric. So there's not any of that, you know, the felt and stuff that your stuff gets like uh, caught on and stuck on in stockings and uh, tears up. And I mean, it's thick and it's nicely made uh, for that price point. It was really good. And actually, the, the one that I got first didn't have a tag and the lady thought it was a dollar and gave me the first one for a dollar. And I need to let Target know that because I do not Target. Are you listening? I owe you two bucks. And tax uh, because I don't um, that's that's a no-no I don't I, I used to own a store and the last thing I will ever do is cheat a store regardless if it's a big box store or a little bitty mom and pop store because not only does it affect the store but it affects our prices as consumers so it makes it go up they have to make up for it somehow so uh, yeah there it is all fixed and um, I don't know how much of my rambling and babbling will end up on the video, but there it is. I also, I heard you, I know, uh, you're very observant today. Yes, I did add more decorations. You can't have to. No, too much is never enough when it comes to Christmas decorations. Actually, this thing has twinkly lights too, but I couldn't reach the cord. See, can't have enough Christmas lights. You just, you know, Christmas is the best. All right, so I know you noticed I added some stuff. This was made for me by a dear friend. Uh, her name is Janice Moore, and she does, I don't know if she's still doing YouTube videos, but she does like um, some videos where she shows stuff that she's selling, and I think it's on YouTube. Maybe it's Facebook. Anyways, her name's Janice Moore. She's a, a paper crafter, and if you could see in there this clear ball has this beautiful 3d snowflake and it's perfect from every side it's not like oh this is the front this is the back i mean the whole thing is beautiful but there's also little styrofoam balls and things so it's like a snow globe you can shake it up and and that um i don't i wish you could see it better because um that little snowflake is on like a, a filament like a maybe a fishing um line the word escape me. Sorry, Scott, my brother, uh, who we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, anyway, so that twists and turns too uh, inside of there. It's so beautiful. And there's all this beautiful stuff. Oh, I just, it's kind of iridescent and it's clear, but, you know, kind of Aurora Borealis, you know, um, 
pearl lesson at the same time. So beautiful. She does such beautiful work. Um, I hope she's still got a YouTube channel. If she does and I can find it, I will definitely give a link to that in the description. Probably can't get this, but I'm sure she's got something really cool going on. Up here, if you can see that purple one, has sea, it's got purple sand and seashells, and it uh, says Caribbean on it. And it came from my parents took the last year at Thanksgiving, took my family, uh, my husband and I, and my oldest son and his wife and their four kiddos, because not everybody could go at once uh, because somebody had to babysit animals. Uh, anyways, they took us on a cruise to Costa Rica and to Nay Cruise, and right before the, you know, hit in oh, it was Princess Cruise Lines. <laughs> right before uh so anyways uh it's got seashells little bitty seashells a bunch of them and purple sand and that's really pretty and it's glass and it's taped up there so god please i hope it doesn't fall down um then we added this one my brother gave this to me and i, I know from a distance you probably can't see it it says captain scott's catfish charter port clinton ohio the best fishing charter in the world and definitely the best catfish charter on Lake Erie and again that's Port Clinton Ohio and uh, that is a great stocking stuffer you don't have to be in Ohio you people come not only from other states but they come from other countries uh, to go on my brother's fishing charters they catch the biggest catfish you probably have ever seen in your life sometimes and ton you know lots of them of all sizes but and I believe they throw those big ones back but if I'm I might be mistaken but I think they do um, I guess if you live that long, you deserve to live forever. Um, so those are additions. And I told you that I used my pens because this kept falling down. And I used those to hold that up in my little failure of a strato box I have up there. This one has to be mailed out, but I have it there uh, to look pretty because she has requested that I mail it after the holidays because they're not going to be home. And... Um, they're, they don't want it just sitting on the porch. So they asked me to please wait until after the holidays and send it. And uh, they'll have it for next year. So anyways, I know that uh, you probably don't want to know all that. That's why I saved it for the end of the video. <laughs> so if you didn't want to know, you didn't have to stay for it. Oh, and I added this little Christmas tree. So I have this one that lights up and that one that's from the Dollar Tree also. Because um, that was going to be in the house to keep the cats from breaking all my... I have so many beautiful ornaments. Um... Uh, antique and vintage and uh, ones my kids have made and ones that I have made ones of my brother and my mom and we've all made um, that I've collected since before I was um, even an adult so things are taped up here and I hope the cold doesn't cause the tape to let loose and things to fall because most of this is glass and it will shatter uh, but you can't have too many decorations and I love it. And like I said, those pens, the one that says, ask me about my novel, they came from Scribbler uh, subscription box and my uh, one from Redbubble uh, with my congestive heart failure art there. Cause I, um, I have congestive heart failure. So I made that. Um, yeah, those are holding my backdrop up because it kept falling down. And so anywho, um, I guess I'm just babbling on and probably going to cut 99% of this out. So, um, but yeah, it's evolving. It's, you know, it gets cluttered. I clean it up. It gets cluttered again and see the tape. I think the cold is making the, the tape lift. Um, so if you, anyway, if you've stuck around for my uh, nonsense and babbling, I appreciate it. If not, that's fine. And you won't know that I just said that it was fine. <laughs> um, so anyway, Anyways, um, sorry, the interruption totally, um, that's what happens when you're ADD. I would like to ask you to please like and comment and subscribe and share. And I'm not joking when I say all I want for Christmas is to hit that 1,000 subscribers. That truly is, uh, that would be the best Christmas gift um, next to my daughter who was born on December 23rd, well, my child that was born on December 23rd, uh, clear back in 89. So since then, it would be my very best Christmas present if I could hit 1,000 subscribers. So if you're seeing this video, please, please 
do all those things like comment subscribe but especially subscribe and share and hopefully other people will subscribe as well it means everything to me and to all youtubers but especially the ones that haven't met that met that 1000 subscribers uh to even think about getting monetized then you have to have 4000 watch hours so there's that too but you know one hurdle at a time and um uh you would just absolutely make my dreams come true my my christmas wishes come true so all right guys thanks for listening to me babble i know a bunch of nonsense but um I would like to wish you a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Captain Scott's cash blooper. Something of this will actually have to get into the bloopers. And as you know, or you may not know, but if you watched my original uh, studio tour and all of that, then you probably do know, I'm actually in a basement slash garage, you know, walk-in actual garage. You can hear the garage door opener. Uh, yes, I'm in Missouri, and yes, it's cold, but I'm a lot like Elsa. Cold never bothers me anyway. Um, I just don't get as cold. I, I'm always too hot. Uh.